Hello again. So we have reached exercise three, which is about uh, the cuckoo hashing. So it's a technique, the cuckoo hashing uh, resolve collision, and it will use uh, two hashing functions. So uh, the basic variant, so we have two tables, C1 and T2, of equal size. And the index is calculated using uh, two hashing functions. So this uh, H1 and H2. So they are telling us the operations here. So to search an element, so it's either in T1 at position H1 of X or in the second table at position H2 of X. So we need just to check both locations. To delete an element again, so we, we need to check whether uh, it exists in the table. So we need to search for it. So if it exists, it will be in one of the two locations and I will delete it from there. However, uh, the insertion is a bit uh, uh, cumbersome, it's a bit complicated, so uh, we try to put the element x into the table t1 using the hashing, the first hashing function, and if there's some other element y, we kick y into the second table t2 of h2 of y, and if there's an element in t2, I will kick it again into t1 of h, so we'll do that. So uh, they are telling us to so continue like this until we find an empty place and the process finishes or until we give up because it starts to take too long, perhaps because we run into a loop. So we know that if, if we are doing two uh, uh, multiple sides of the array, it means that we have uh, looped over all the elements of the array and there's a loop, so we need to uh, stop. So they are giving us an example. So we have this uh, n, so the size of the uh, hash table uh, is equal to n, so each of the two hash tables is equal to 11, and we have these two hashing functions. We have uh, those keys uh, along with the value of the two hashing functions. So I try to insert 20, so 20 its hashing function is 9. I will try to place 20 in T1 at index 9. Then I will try to put 50. 50 is equal, the hashing of 50 is equal to 6 and 6 is empty. I will place uh, 50 at index 6 and then I will insert 53. 53 is equal to 9. So there's one element here in 9. So I will place 53 in 9. However, I need to kick 20 so I, I should place 20 in t2 so I look uh, I can place uh, 20 at index 1 in uh, uh, t2 and t2 is empty at index 1 so I can place 53 and kick 20 we have 75 75 again uh, it's hashing value is equal to 9 and at index 9 there's 53 so I need to kick 53 in order to place 75 here so 53 its second hashing is 4 and in t2 is empty so I can place 75 here and kick 53 to 4 then we have 72 72 its hashing value is 6 so in, in 6, there's 50, so I need to kick 50. So I place 72, and then I need to check the hashing value of 50 in T2. 50 is equal to 4, so I can look here. In T2 on 4, there's uh, 53, so I will place 50 in 4, and I will kick 53 from T2 to, to, to T1. So 53, its hashing uh, value in T1 is equal to 9, so I will place 53 in T1 at index 9. And then I have 75. 75 it was in t1 at index 6 i will kick it into the hashing uh, the second table which is at index 6 and uh, index 6 is empty so i place 75 here so this is the idea so they are telling us that in the following the keys are positive so in order to specify what's neg what's what's an empty uh, hash table means and we need to write uh, three functions which are to check whether an element belongs to such hash tables uh, to write a function to delete an element and the most important one is to insert an element into a such hash table so let me skim over uh, those ones so we don't need the min and max so we have the the size of the hashing so our hash table it consists of two uh, arrays, arrays of integers, t1 of n and t2 of n, and those are the two hashing uh, functions. So I called it here, hash1 and hash2. And in order to create a hash table, I just placed minus 1 as an empty uh, element into all the hash uh, table. And I need to write those three functions, belong, uh, delete, and insert. And I have uh, uh, printed uh, uh, the, the hash table, so you can look at here, I have two uh, columns. So the first one for the t1 and the second for t2 and there's a small test case so on the test i have uh, uh, created uh, inserted all the elements as we have seen in the example and then i have deleted one element in order to check uh, all these elements so 
let's start so in order to check whether an element belongs to such hash table so as they have told us i need to check uh, two locations so either the element e is in t1 at uh, at hash uh, at index hash of e or in t2 at the uh, hash of 2 so let's call uh, those hashing values v1 and v2 and v1 i will call hash 1 of uh, e and in v2 hash 2 of e so I prepare the hashing value and then I need just to check so I will return so whether h dot uh, t1 of v1 is different than minus 1 because if it's, it's equal to minus 1 it means that it's empty so there's no need to check so if it's different than minus 1 and h dot t1 dot v is equal equal to the element e it means it, it's there or I can find it into the second uh, table so h of t2 v2 different than minus 1 and h dot d2 oh, here we have v1 and here we have v2 is equal to e I will return 1 if one of these conditions are true otherwise I will return uh, 0 to delete an element so we have here a pointer because we need to modify so uh, again the same uh, thing I need to find uh, uh, the element so I will be using the same condition here and then place minus 1 if it's equal to e or not so again I will be using the hashing values because I need to, to find the indices in the t1 and t2 so if h of uh, t1 of v1 is different than minus 1 and is equal to e, it means I have found the element I just need to so here we have arrows because we have a pointer So I place an edge of t1 uh, v1, I should place just minus 1, otherwise I need to check uh, in the uh, second table, so I will copy these. So if h2 t2 v2 different than minus 1, so if I found the element e in t2, I place in t2 v2 the value of uh, uh, minus 1, so otherwise uh, I should just uh, uh, return 0 so because I couldn't find the element otherwise I return 1 if everything was okay so this is for the uh, deletion now let's move to the insertion of uh, the element so if the element belongs already uh, to the hash table so I will return 0 otherwise I need to loop uh, multiple times so we can uh, prove that if I loop two multiple the number of elements of a hash table it means that I have looped uh, into uh, all the placements so I need to uh, stop and for each time so I will start uh, from uh, uh, for trying to add the element into t1 and then kick the element into t2 so we'll have two parts I will write it iteratively and you can also write it recursively so I will, I will have two parts uh, I will start from uh, t1 and then uh, try to kick into t2 and uh, I will follow this pattern so uh, we will need a variable i so it's just to count the number of elements uh, and in order to end the number of passes just to say that I will start from t1 and then into t2 I will have to copy uh, the element because uh, when I kick some element I will need to pick this the, the, the already existing element and try to insert to insert this element so I need to modify this element and let's take a temporary variable 2 so if the element e already belong to uh, the hash table so I will return a lovely a zero otherwise I need to loop so I will loop uh, at maximum uh, to n time so as long as i is less than 2 multiple n I will uh, try to uh, insert and kick uh, the element so if pass equal to 1 so it means that I'm uh, because I have a loop so I will start from t1 t2 t1 t2 I will do that so if pass equal to 1 which is uh, right and then in pass at the end of pass equal 1 I will say pass equal uh, to 2 in order to uh, execute the else part which is here so what I will do here is that I will check so if uh, the element uh, the index is uh, is empty so I can place the element and I will not kick anyone so if iteratively I have reached a place where in t1 and the hashing one of the element e1 that I need to uh, to add is equal equal to minus one it means that 
uh, this cell that I have reached is empty, so I can place in this uh, place, I can place E1, and then I return 1, and everything is okay. This is when we can add the element, whether we have added from the first or after kicking multiple elements. So if it's not equal to minus 1, it means that there's someone here, so I need to place myself and then kick the one that is existing. So what I will do that is that in H of T1 uh, one of hash of uh, T1, so in temporary first, I will save this one, this value, the already existing uh, value, and then in this I should place the element E1. So I have saved the already existing value because I need to kick it now, and then I have placed the element that I need to place, and then so. What I should do is that E1 would be equal to temp because I need to uh, uh, recheck here the E1. So this is it for the first part. So let me quick, uh, quickly repeat. So in, in, uh, at first, we need to check T1. So if T1 is empty, the cell is empty, I place the element and it's finished. Otherwise, I need to place myself. So I've done it here. But before that, I need to save the already existing element in order to kick it. So I then I saved it into E1 because I'll be using uh, E1. So else, it means that I have finished my first pass. And now I try to add the element E1 into T2. So it will be the same thing. So uh, I'll try to add uh, in T2. So I will check if, it, if it's empty. And if it's empty, I will place uh, the element there. Uh, so here we have E1, right? So if, the, if H of T2, hash 2 of E1, there's no E2, is equal, equal to minus 1, I should place in H of T2 of hashing 2 of E1, the element E1, and return 1. Otherwise, I should do the same stuff. So I keep. Uh, uh, temporary so I will copy these I will save the value the existing value in here and then I should place uh, the newly element and then I need to uh, uh, re-put the temporary into E1 and then I place pass equal to, equal to 1 in order to execute uh, the insertion into the T1 so this is why I need to increment the counter because I need to try to finish so at the end if if I finished a while loop and, and I didn't uh, tr uh, uh, succeed into placing the element, I should return a zero. So this is it, the function. Uh, it's not that easy, uh, not that difficult. So it's, it's a medium exercise. So we have here uh, belong, there's a missing O. So let's execute. So we will have the uh, same output. So in uh, T, so this is the insertion here, the last. Uh, are the last hashing table. So we have in six at index 60, uh, 72 and index 953. So right, and then we have 20, 50, 73. We have 20, 50, and 75. 75, right? And as for the deletion, it's very empty. So this is it. I'll just repeat quickly uh, the insertion. So we try to find the element if it exists in the uh, if it, if it uh, uh, exists in the hashing table, so I will return zero. Otherwise, I need to loop over um, multiple times. So let's say to multiple n. At first, I need to try to place the element into T1. If it's empty, I will place it. Otherwise, I need to place myself and then kick the already uh, existing element into T2. So I, I use a, a Boolean variable here, 1, 2, in order to just execute the second part, which is uh, the uh, the insertion of element into uh, T2 and the same uh, part here is uh, as T1 so uh, you can write recursive if uh, you want it it's very easy also so this is it for this exercise if you have any questions do not hesitate to write to me and I will answer you back of course and again thanks for watching